हेलो नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल आदाब आपका स्वागत है इस नए पॉडकास्ट के ऊपर जिसका नाम है एग्जैक्टली exactly ऑपोजिट और मैं हूं आपका होस्ट दोस्त ग्यारह जिगरा रिदेश उर्फ वॉइस वन तो आज के इस पॉडकास्ट का टॉपिक रहने वाला है द सेप्टेम्बर 11 अटैक्स जिसे हम कॉमनली जानते हैं 9/11 अटैक्स इस नाम से सेप्टेम्बर 11th 2001 7:59 फिफ्टी एम ईस्टर्न टाइम बॉस्टन एयरपोर्ट यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स फ्लाइट 11 टेक्स ऑफ विद 92 पैसेंजर्स आउट ऑफ विच पांच हाईजैकर्स थे एट अप्रॉक्सीमेटली एट फोर्टीन एम दिस अलकायदा लेड हाईजैकर्स फोर्स द वे इन द कैबिन overpowering and presumably killing the cabin crew and pilots in me se ek hijacker tha mohammad atta an egyptian citizen and a trained pilot atta and a co-worker al omari instantly took control of the plane and sealed the cockpit by welding knives into them and redirected the flight 11 towards the historical monument of the world trade center in new york At 8:46 the plane going at roughly 748 kilometers per hour and carrying 38000 liters of jet fuel crashes between the 93rd and 94th floor of the North Tower World Trade Center. It caused a gigantic explosion and attracted media attention. It's then the president of America George Bush was informed about the incident by the White House staff. The news channels and civilians of southern Manhattan were all surprised at the sudden explosion in the WTC North Tower. Approximately 5 minutes later, United Airlines flight 175 was too hijacked by five hijackers and rerouted mid-air towards New York. The country was already in chaos as flight 175 carrying 65 passengers and 34000 liters of jet fuel going approximately 800 kilometers per hour crashed between the 75th and 85th floor of the South World Trade Center tower. The whole country saw both the towers burning and exploding live on TV. The rescuers were deployed for the first tower then were redirected to the second one. The news of two more hijacked planes was informed to the public. American Airlines flight 77 taken off from Washington DC airport is rerouted. The flight containing 64 flyers including five hijackers and approximately 75000 liters of jet fuel crashes at 9:37 a.m. at the Pentagon building outside Washington DC. It led to a big explosion and the fire that took many days to extinguish with the part of Pentagon collapsing too. The news of two more hijacked planes was informed to the public within few minutes. On the other hand, United Airlines flight 93 taken off from New York, New Jersey airport is rerouted. The flight contained approximately 90,000 liters of jet fuel and 44 occupants including four hijackers. This flight was presumably intended to be crashed at the White House or the Washington monuments. Still due to the brave spirit of the passengers, the flight was later early hit at 10:3 a.m. in a strip mine field situated at Shanksville, Pennsylvania. After the third crash, the United States aerospace was entirely shut down for 2 days. All the flights were requested to land at the nearest airport. The rescue teams were now flocking to the crash sites and finding survivors. After burning for about 1 and 1/2 hours at 8:59 a.m., the fire in the South Tower agitated massively. The weakened 110 floor tower collapsed, causing the death of estimated 1402 people, including the office staffs, 343 rescue workers within the tower, etc. The North Tower to experienced a similar fate as the magnificent building collapsed 29 minutes later. The total death toll of this incident is said to be around 3000 or more. The crash and collapse sites took 9 months to clean up and aftermath is still heard today. It is said that the residents and survivors were discovered with 158 types of diseases, the worst being cancer. The ailments all happened due to inhaling the fumes emitted by burning jet fuel, dust debris, human bodies decaying, etc., and coming in contact with the poisonous environment around. The seismic reports of the collapse and blast has stated the blast sent a magnitude 2.3 earthquake signal. These attacks were suspected to be done by Osama bin Laden. He was found guilty 3 years later as he gave a detailed testimony of the preparation of these attacks in a publicly circulated videotape. 
The video tape stated that the motivation of Al Qaeda in conducting these attacks was the constant interference of US in the Middle East, supporting Israel and Lebanon, supporting Russia in crimes against Muslims in Chechnya, and collaboration of US with Saudi troops. Osama later added that the attack was teaching a lesson to United States for opposing us and interfering in our businesses. Later by the 9/11 Commission report, we found out that the stated principal architect of this attack were Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and his four other crewmates. They all were captured and sent to Guantanamo jail undergoing trial till date. On the other hand, Osama bin Laden was killed in May 2011. Many legislative orders were also passed to ensure all citizens future safety like the Patriot Act. The airport security norms globally were reinforced into a much stricter and safer protocol based structure. Explosive detecting systems, arms trained pilots and cockpit assistants are some commonly known changes. That's all for this episode guys and do tell me if you liked it or not agar ha to fir is episode ko like kar dijiye hamare podcast ko follow kar dijiye aur apna experience hame niche comment karke zarur bataiyega till next time this is voice one signing off thank you